The new book, Serenity in the Storm, outnumbered co-host Kaylee McEnany is with us, along with former Arkansas Governor uh, Mike Huckabee is with us. Thank you both. Kaylee, start with you. And, well, he's obviously not prepared to run. The fact that the Democrats are now considering, well, maybe we should go back to Al Gore or Hillary Clinton, that seems like a sign of desperation to me. And all I see in the Republican Party, um, you know, from, from Trump on down, is a deep, solid bench of really strong America first, make America great again conservatives uh, that would do a great job uh, in an administration. Sure, it tells you a lot. Al Gore, Hillary Clinton, that's what we call reruns. It didn't work the first time. They're rerunning it. It's not going to work this time. There's a robust bench, to your point, on the side of the Republican Party. But Joe Biden, I mean, this is, he's going to be coordinated. That's what's going to happen. He's not going to have a meaningful primary challenge. Marianne Williamson, we all remember her, not going to work out there. But what I remember is being on Air Force One, taking off with President Trump, he would be setting off for five rallies. I could barely keep up with the man. And then you would see Joe Biden's team calling a lid at like 9.33 a.m., calling a lid, meaning no more events for the day. He was able to sleep his way through the 2020 campaign thanks to COVID-19. He cannot do that this time. And I've read reporting that his allies and those who are supporting him are counting on the fact that they believe that President Trump will be the nominee, will pick a fight with the Presidential Debate Commission, and therefore Joe Biden will not have to debate. Good luck with that, because Trump trounced Joe Biden in a debate last time around. I watched it. It was the third presidential debate. Counting on hiding again, not going to work. Let me ask you, Governor Huckabee, um, you, you, we've watched these races unfold over the years, but really they seem to be rudderless. And it, when you talk to Democrats, even, even privately, nobody that I know that's a Democrat wants him to run again. They all see what we see. They see a man that is, frankly, you know, weak, frail, and, and struggling mightily cognitively. Everybody sees it. Nobody thinks he's physically or mentally up to the job. Just if there's only a few of us willing to say it publicly. Well, only 37 percent of Democrats even want him to run. I mean, that's pretty embarrassing when your own party basically says, you know, six out of 10 of you don't even want you to show up for the battle. But I think he's headstrong to do it. If they're going to go back and get Hillary or Al Gore, why don't they just keep going back in history? Let's maybe go back to their real icon, FDR. I, I remember a few years ago, Bear Bryant had been passed away for quite some time, and Alabama was struggling in their football program. And there were bumper strips all over Alabama that would say, get the bear, dig him up. I'm thinking that the Democrats' new slogan will be FDR, dig him up. Because that's where they're going. They're going to the past, not the future. And uh, it may be the only shot they've got. All right. Exit question for both of you. Does Gavin Newsom want to get in and will he get in? Kaylee. Wants to get in, will not get in. Joe Biden's about to be coronated. And governor? Wants to get in, will get in, and will be cremated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can't top that, but oh, I think man. I'm with Governor Huckabee. He wants to get in. I think he's going to find a way in. All right, thank you both, Kaylee and Governor Huckabee. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.